No big surprises from the FOMC has allowed for gold and silver to raise some of their losses, but how can the metals keep the momentum going here? Joining us today is Todd Baba Horowitz of babatrading.com. Todd, it's been too long. Welcome back to the show. Always great to be here, Danielle. So with the December rate hike all but certain now, uh, is 1300 gold going to be an impossible get here? Uh, I don't think so. I think that gold is going to start to move steadily higher, Danielle. I I'm looking at it as the way the action's been the last few days, especially since the jobs number. I think that the, the gold has made a very nice move off the bottom and really charged nicely. And then even today, with a little bit of selling pressure, it's, it's now bounced back again. I think it gets through 1300. There might be a little bit of resistance there. But I, I think we'll be talking of, of higher gold prices by the end of the year, by the time they do actually, if they do, by the time the hike rates. I'm, I'm looking in the, the mid-1350, you know, 1350 to 1400 before the year's over. I think some people start to panic when we see a bit of a pullback like we saw that this morning, uh, Baba. Well, I think everybody gets nervous, and especially in market conditions, and these are mar markets are globally, there's not a lot of action going on. It's very quiet. I haven't seen markets this low since 2004 where there's virtually no trading range, which is the other thing about gold and silver that make me a little bit excited because they're getting some pretty good ranges and they've moved fairly good off those lows. So I think that, that they look really solid here. And I, again, I'm a big advocate of having people own a portion of gold and silver in their portfolio anyways. And we're going to get to silver in a bit. But, you know, if we're looking at the S&P here, you know, many would think, hey, shouldn't gold be in an attractive hedge right now? I know you don't look at gold as a hedge, but shouldn't it even be rallying more so? Well, it could be, but I think one of the problems we look at here, Danielle, is we get a lot of people that are very confused. And it's, it's, again, it goes back to the dollar. The dollar's gotten stronger, but you know, gold didn't benefit on the way down. So why would it benefit on the, would be it hurt on the way back up? I, I think you're, you're, the whole market isn't like in a state of confusion of what's going on. And I think that's partially led by the central banks and the Fed that they're really confused and people are confused. But I believe that this is an outstanding time to step in and buy some gold. I think it's great. It's great to have in your portfolio. It's a terrific asset, and it only appreciates over time. And as long as you can afford to, to buy real physical gold, I think that's this is the time to do it. Now, let's talk silver. I just came back from a metals conference where there was lots of bullish talk on the metal. How do you see it set up here? Silver has been outperforming gold in October so far. Well, I, I think silver looks really good. It's, I've always been a bigger fan of silver uh, in general because I think it's uh, it's easier to, to use and it's a little bit cheaper, so it, you can get it into smaller slices. But I think that silver is going to continue to outperform. You know, one of the problems is is, is the the typical range, the, the designed range was supposed to be, uh, you know, fifteen to one, and we're you know eighty to one. So again, I think that's something that 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 will always benefit silver. And I think that silver is a great entry for a lot of people that are trying to get into the metal space. So I think that's also does well for them. So what's your target for silver? Well, I think silver is going to go, you know, I mean, near term, I think we'll see, you know, probably 18 and a half or 19. I think we, we've got, I mean, I think we'll go back in the 20s next year, probably. And I, I'm looking for higher prices. I do think, as I've said before, the bear market in metals is over. Now, again, it doesn't mean we're going right into a bull market, but I think we're going to see some steady action. And it, as the equities will sell off, They'll, that money will have to go somewhere. And I think one of the places it's going to go is in the gold and, and in the silver. So I think we look for higher prices across the board. All right, Bubba. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Danielle. And thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow.